seven. Uh, actually been on the road since about uh, eight o'clock. I went and uh, to a pickup in Lafayette and picked up a vehicle uh, BMW uh, SUV uh, 2013 uh, heading to uh, Conway, South Carolina. Easy, put it on and uh, take off to South Carolina. We should be getting to South Carolina uh, either later on tonight or early in the morning. We should be in South Carolina, but uh, not on location until uh, in the morning because I'm going to run out of drive time. But uh, we should see. I got my, my drone out today. I couldn't find my freaking SD card yesterday so I never pulled it out or the other day either I didn't pull it out but I found it yesterday so I pulled the drone out a little bit today um, got the uh, DJ Minute 2 waiting for the 3 to come out one has to come out I need to look it up I am a drone fanatic I have several of them buying them just about since, uh, since they came out. Um, so I'm waiting on that Mini to hit. I think it may have already. I have to check. But it should be the Mini 3 coming out. Uh, I have all of the uh, Phantoms. Uh, Inspire. All those different things. I'm, I love electronics. So uh, I tend to buy those when they hit. Uh, DJI is pretty good. So that's about it for now though. We are on, I think this is uh, Interstate 49. Uh, we're heading again to Alexandria. Uh, I tell you man, it's so easy to do vehicles. Because uh, it's as simple as drive on, strap, or either unstrap and drive off. Not anything that's too difficult. So, uh, I actually enjoy it. But, uh, that is it for now. I'll check in and go.
it's that simple. Let's check these scraps. That one feels a little loose to me. Let's give it one more. Did it. Let's check it again. Just not sure. Got our ramps put up. Oh lord. See, that's why you gotta check behind yourself. I didn't see that I did that. Sure it won't come off, but I don't like even taking a chance to just have it lined up like it needs to be. This one's good. Let's check this one good. Let's click it one more time. Tight, tighty, tight, tighty, tight. Tight. Our tires are good. I looked at those as we were going. Oh. We are going to be on our way. Make sure we look at that. All right, we're good. And catch all up in a little bit. Ooh, can't turn it off with the gloves on. Okay. All right. Want to be that way? Forget you. Then. We are leaving Louisiana, brought some back on over to Mississippi. All right, big boy, you in a rush, ain't you? Good grief. I 
I don't know, but we shall see. I'm assuming part within these lines are. Right Let's see what happens. I don't want to hold this phone up. Ah, uh, and I ain't got nowhere I can put it at, though. I do not. Let's put it right here. Now, I don't know if they want me to bring paperwork in or not. Just letting you know, man, I'm law enforcement. I do have a firearm on board. Okay, that's fine. Hey, uh, the reason I pulled you in is because I want to do an inspection. I'm aware. Yep. Uh, I see you got the orange sticker, so that means it's time for a new one. Yeah, that's been a little while. All right. Uh, hey, if everything look good, I got one with your name on it already. Hey, hey, you might want to go and get it stroked out, man. Right. Uh, this is the truck. My, um, I have a copy of my current license, man, but I lost it, um, and I'm waiting to get back home to go get another one. Now, I can give you my old one with my number up there, or I can show you a copy of my current one, because I do have a copy of it. I just don't have the physical. Okay, let me see the old one. Let me The other one is a duplicate. It go to 2026. That one is out 2018. And uh, this is gonna be under 26,000, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. Uh, okay, I can do that. Look, I'm gonna put this on the computer. Do you need the uh, inspection too? Uh, uh, I need the registration to the trailer. Trailer. Is the inspection? Yeah, it's already in there. The white, uh, that white paper behind the registration is for the truck. Do you need insurance? Uh, no, not right now. Okay. Uh, is that your log book? Huh? Is that your log book or e-log? Right here. Yeah. Come on inside and bring it in. Uh, we're gonna get started. Okay. okay. All right. So uh, we definitely got pulled to the back to park. Um, and we went through a level one inspection, but as you can see, I'm back on the road. So obviously, I passed, and I uh, got my uh, green sticker. Cause the other one was a uh, yellow sticker. So I did a level one inspection, um, and uh, he was a uh, pretty nice officer. We talked a little bit. Uh, I can relate to uh, DOT because again, I come out of the law enforcement world and uh, I am still in the law enforcement world. Uh, so I can definitely relate to them. Um, and as with anything, they have a job to do. I know a lot of people hate DOT. I uh, don't like DOT officers, uh, but also as with anything, you got probably some buttholes in DOT, just like you have buttholes in every other profession in the world. Uh, so some make it bad for uh, uh, the rest of them, like some of these uh, uh, wild videos you see. But at the same time, all of them aren't bad. So uh, he did a level one inspection, uh, went on the inside. Uh, he checked all the paperwork, checked everything, uh, typed, started typing up his paperwork, then we came out with an inspection on the truck. Um, the lights, the signal lights, um, you know, uh, checking the load, make sure it's secure, all that good stuff like that, weight, and so on and so on. Um, and then well, we went back on the inside to sign the paperwork um, that they give you. And uh, of course I passed. I keep my stuff legit. Uh, I think the only ones that are really fearful uh, of DOT or dislike DOT uh, are 
lot of the ones that are doing stuff that they shouldn't be doing anyway, or either those that are don't keep up with their equipment, because if you're keeping up with your equipment, you should be good to go. Like for instance, this morning when I did the pre-check, I noticed that the back right uh, marker light um, on the uh, right side was out, and started trying to I went into pilot to see if I could find a replacement for it of course that had some in there uh, but I wanted to make sure that that one was actually out so what did I do I took the time uh, to pop it out um, and what was it was is the connection that came loose uh, so I connected it back together and voila it started working now had I not messed with the marker light uh, I made it through Louisiana, I think through what, at least two, two or three weight stations. Uh, but I got here, Mississippi, just crossing over into it, hit uh, past the first weight station, but they have another one with what, maybe five or 10 miles. Had he checked that and the marker light was out, you know, I don't know if he would have dinged me for it because he was a pretty cool guy. Uh, but he probably, it's possible I would have got dinged for it. I probably wouldn't have passed. Uh, and which I wouldn't expect anything different because that's his job. So, that's like with it, you know, take the time, go over your equipment, make sure your equipment is good to go. Your truck and trailer and whatever else you need to check to make sure you're good. Uh, so that if you do get stopped, uh, because I've been stopped in the weight stations, I've been stopped on the road. Remember one time I came out of Charlotte, North Carolina, and boy, these roads are terrible. I 20 is terrible. Uh, coming out of um, Charlotte, North Carolina, man, and I think I had no weight scale. Uh, in, no matter of fact, the weight scale was about what 15, 20 miles down the road. I'm riding, showed no. Whoop. All going triple for me up. Did an inspection on the side of the road, and it's like Jesus, you know what I mean? But of course, again, I keep my stuff legit, so I'm not really worried about it. But uh, another side of that, also, too, is, is what's going on in the world today with law enforcement. Um, as these are DOTR law enforcement officers, you know. <laughs> One thing you have to remember is that there are people, that they're human beings, um, and we all deserve to be treated with respect. Um, uh, well, I have a few choice ones that are not law enforcement, that's personal. But we all deserve to be treated with respect, so it's like with it, you treat them with respect, and nine times out of 10, they're gonna treat you with the same respect. If you're one of those that pull out your phone, um, and start throwing it in their faces, I'm recording you and you can't do this and you this, 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 nine times out of 10, you gonna get a problem, you know? Uh, because officers have discretion. Uh, not saying that they should make decisions based off of your attitude, but nine times out of 10, again, they're human beings. If you give them attitude, more than likely, they're gonna give you a little bit. That's just the way it works. So, um, you know, Treat them with respect. Um, don't get nasty with them. And that's whether you get a ticket or not. Even if you get a ticket, don't get nasty. You know, uh, fighting a law enforcement officer is not the time to fight on the side of the road. It's not the time to fight. You hear my voice is choppy because this road is terrible. Can I get over? Yes, I can. All right, let's get back over here. Um. But, you know, on the side of the road, it's not the time to fight a law enforcement officer. Absolutely not, because you're not gonna win. And even if you do win, uh, it's some more coming. And whether you're white, black, whether an officer was wrong, right, you know, from a law enforcement perspective, when I get on scene, my job is to calm you down. My job is to get you under control. Um, and then, once you're under control, then we can figure out what happened. If the officer was wrong, he was wrong. If he was right, he was right. Either way, you know, the side of the road is not the place to fight. Uh, or, you know, when they're dealing with you, they do what they tell you to do. Um, from both sides of it, you know, I do believe that there are some, 
you know, from a racial issue, black men being killed by police that maybe shouldn't be killed by police. Uh, because the truth of the matter is there is a lot of, uh, most of all races fear uh, black people for some reason. Not some reason, we already know. Uh, why, um, you know, but it's like in it and with it, you know, there are also Hispanics being killed by the police. There are also white people, uh, white men being killed by the police. Uh, there are races of all kinds being killed by the police. At the same time, in the same token, the news media does not portray that uh, because it doesn't get ratings. Uh, no offense when I say this, but who cares about a white man getting shot by another white man uh, when it comes down to the police, right? Or who cares about a black man getting shot by another black man, right? But if you can put a white officer shot, a black guy, oh my God, everybody looks at it. Everybody sees it. It goes crazy. The ratings are through the roof, right? So, you know, you have to look at it, and that's why they do it. Uh, but if you look at percentage, there's just as many uh, in other races that are being killed by police or that are having those interactions with police as there are uh, when it comes down to the black race uh, or black men in general. Uh, at the same time, we all have to learn, again, show them respect. Uh, even if they're not showing you respect, it's not the time to fight on the side of the road. It's not the time to fight when they're dealing with you and so on and so on. Uh, your time to fight is after. Live through your traffic stop, make it through your traffic stop peacefully. And afterwards, if you feel like you were done wrong, that's when it's time for, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? Complaints, uh, courthouse, that's when it's time to fight. Uh, feel like your rights been violated, that's when you get an attorney and so on and so on. But uh, let me get off that tangent. We made it through uh, the weight scale. Uh, keep your equipment good, keep your trailer good, your truck good, and all that good stuff like that, and I mean, you're good to go. It's like a lot of the other uh, YouTubers uh, have mentioned. Uh, Hotshot Benny, uh, he's had a few run-ins with DOT, uh, and some of the other guys, you know, uh, if you think about it, a Hotshot is so much easier to inspect than a uh, 18 wheeler um, or you know a big rig uh, and trailer uh, it's a lot quicker it's a lot easier so you know I don't think they're giving quotas hey you need to check this many per day but at the same time coming from the law enforcement world you know if you're sitting on the highway and you can't stop nobody from speeding something's wrong with you because more than likely somebody's speeding right so it's just like with these trucks they expect you to do inspections uh, they might not have a, spe a specific number, but you can't tell me that uh, a thousand trucks came through here today and not one of them was messed up. So, you know, from that mindset, you know, uh, if I was DLT, I probably would take the easy ones too. Let me get them hot shots. Uh, you know, so just my two cents. But uh, keep your stuff squared away. You don't have to worry about the uh, weight stations. Don't have to get nervous about them, anything of that nature. Um, I have my folder uh, or notebook when he was asking uh, for um, registration, inspection, and all that kind of stuff like that. I simply have it in the notebook, so whatever he asked for, you know, I just open up the notebook. Here you go, here you go, here you go. I use Keep Trucking for the ELD. Um, so, of course, you can send the logs to him. Uh, so, uh, he asked me to bring the log in, which I keep it right here on the tablet. So, you know, pretty much I took the tablet in, and uh, everything's straight from there. If you stay organized, if you keep organized, you know, more than likely, they ain't going to mess with you anyway. I mean, because if I'm asking you for stuff and you hand it to me, they got mustard, ketchup, and all that kind of stuff all over. You can't find it. You're looking here. It's balled up and this and that. Oh, yeah, we're going to find something. But I'm asking you for stuff and you hand me a notebook. It's organized. It's neat. It's uh, in the transparent sheets and so on and so on. It's like, nah. You know, this guy's too clean. He ain't need to mess with him. So, just two cents. 
I ride. We're making it through Mississippi, headed to, uh, should be hitting Georgia, then South Carolina, and uh, we're not gonna get on location tonight. We'll get on location tomorrow um, morning sometimes when we take back off. We should be stopping tonight around about eight, um, and then resuming around about six o'clock in the morning uh, to get to drop boat drop offs tomorrow. We'll see what we can pick up also. All right, later. Sweet home, Alabama. All right. Yeah, just crossed over. All right, we are about to cross over into Atlanta from sweet old home, Alabama. Don't have much drive time left, so um, I'm trying to contemplate whether I'm going to go pull up at a Walmart or at a pallet. I prefer to go to a pallet tonight so that I can take me a shower, uh, but I could also go to a Walmart and get a shower in the morning. Did I say Atlanta? I think I meant to say Georgia. Yes, what am I talking about? Alright, welcome to Georgia. Yes. Uh, so we just crossed over into Georgia. Um, look at that window. Oh my goodness. It's terrible. Um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out whether I go to a Walmart or a, uh, a pallet. But I could go to Walmart and just go to sleep, get up in the morning, hit pallet, get some fuel and while I'm there. In that shower, it should be that busy. I don't know. We're figuring out what's in a little bit. What is this? Uh, rest. There you go. Okay. Alright. Catch up with y'all when I figure out what I'm going to do.